<laughs> when before you carry out your 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 survey, you need uh, an understanding with the entire team so that you agree. I hope now you are, you have a magnetic mind. You remember what engineer was telling you. When do we refer to a road as good? When do we refer to it as poor, as fair? This is the road we are going to be describing. It is its unique identifier is C707 Moy South Lake. So if you are going to be given forms, unfortunately we didn't print forms for everyone, but you will be taken through by the different engineers in the two groups on how you fill that form. And then the writers who are also engineers will show you the, the road register that we have prepared and it is in this uh, gadget. This is a mobile mapper 50. It is GPS enabled and it has the ability to capture location data. The importance of GPS enabled gadget is that we can actually tie location information to the data that we capture and therefore carry out an analysis. That is how we are able to transfer the same data into a GIS environment and be able to carry out so many analyses for purposes of planning. So for group two, you move aside for your demonstration, group three for your demonstration before now you get onto the road and you're shown practically how to carry out the, the, the survey. I happened to load the background map. This is a map of Naivasha as you can see. I loaded it in the, in the hotel because there we have the internet. And then we have uh, the road, the section of the road that we are, that we are going to, to, to survey is this section. It's colored in blue. Also this is preloaded data. But the blue dot is actually our position. If you press that GPS position, it brings us to exactly where we are right now. If we move, the blue dot moves. Everybody understand? So far, so far we are together. So when we go to the road, what we'll do, we'll, when you want to collect a, a feature, we pick that button and we have all the, this is the data dictionary basically. This is the features that we're going to be picking. There's a bridge, there's a culvert, sorry. There's, there's a, we, we have the road, we have the bridge, we have the culverts, we have the drift, we have river, we have town, we have a facility, we have an institution, railway crossing, maintenance problem. And any other and, and any other issues. So that is what we are going to be doing on the road. So we can go and start from the culvert that is there. So even as you look at this particular point, eh, uh, of course, this particular point is not the same as that point. Yes. And that is uh, that is why we are doing it every 200 meters. So that you start from here and when you walk 200 meters, you give a general rating, you can be able to assign which is, general, you assign a general yes, rating, which is uh, an average of what you have seen. Yes. If there are many potholes and there are uh, explanations hey, at the back here, hey, there is a guide, huh? there is a guide, at, uh, guide there is a guide from here, yes. that uh, a road is excellent or good or fair or poor or very bad, uh, depending on the on the kind of uh, rating that is given at the other end of this uh, table. So when you have uh, less than 5% uh, potholes on the road, and you read that together with the raveling, you see whether there is any rutting, whether there is any edge breaks on the, on the, on the edges of the pavement, you now give a general rate for the 200 meters. That now is going to tell you what kind of work you are going to do on that 200 meters.
to thank you very much for your resilience. And I want to especially thank the accountants in the team. Because <laughs> I know you are so used to clean money, just the pen and the book. But now you see what happens in the field. When these people are saying they are budgeting this amount of money to repair the roads, you understand where they are coming from. As at least you have some background data. I want to appreciate also the procurement officers that you actually now are able, you'll be able to look at the annual work plan and say, indeed, I saw this somewhere and it relates to the road maintenance. I think the jargon that we have been seeing in our offices about the annual work plans is being demystified a little bit. Thank you.